Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dark from the Score 2 on 2, and welcome back to another episode of Everlasting Summer. Now, when we last left off, uh, we were talking to Electronic and Shruik about what they're going to wear for the dance and shit like that. And uh, we chased Ulania to a fucking once in the cafeteria around because she poured fucking food on us. And we were upset, so we cleaned that up, and then she stole some candy. We chased after her again, and I don't know why this guy cannot leave this fucking girl alone. When she does shit, I mean, I understand the kind of food thing, but not the candy thing. Just let her fucking do what she wants. But, you know, I, I don't know. I'm going off of it. And we, we just came back here. So, yeah, that's it. I still have a hoarse voice from coughing. And um, I'm taking antibiotics for the whooping cough, which is good. I actually feel a lot better than I did for the past three weeks. It's just my voice is still pretty hoarse, so... I'd say probably by Sunday I'd, I'd have my voice back, so yeah. So, let's continue. Entering the camp, leader's camp, and I flopped under the bed and instantly shut my eyes. I'm just going to pretend he's snoring. Strangely enough, I got up right on time without even an alarm. I do that all the time, and I would do that before my alarm goes off. It's scary. I guess it's like an eternal clock thing, but like I'll set my alarm for 6 o'clock almost every morning, and then I'll wake up either like half an hour beforehand, and I'll like kind of rest and watch my clock just go up to 6 a.m., or I'll fucking wake up five minutes beforehand, and I'll just wait for it to go off. It's weird. The clock was showing 9. It's such a rare thing to happen. Are she supposed to help that one chick? I don't understand. Maybe it was like a different time. I don't know. Maybe it was tomorrow. I don't remember exactly. I, I felt sluggish, though. Probably wasn't the best idea to sleep during the day, after all. Well, I, I gotta go. Yeah, don't sleep during the day. You get naps. I don't like napping. In a couple of minutes, I was standing at the square. Mm. Excuse me. The loudspeakers uh, and some DJ equipment were installed near the monument, and the trees were decorated with light strings. A typical country ball. A lot of pioneers were around, but no familiar faces, so I just sat on the bench and waited. Wow. All these people. If you notice, these speakers and shit weren't here before. But they managed to render this in, but they haven't managed to render so much the all the people that are supposed to be there. Hmm. Just pretend this big ass shadow right here is just a bunch of people congregated right there. I don't have time to dance after all. Maybe I'll just sit and chat with somebody. Hey there, sad face. Oh god, this girl. Oh, you look nice in your dress. I mean, I don't really like the blue and the, the red hair, but hey, you know. How does your hair stay like that? I, 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 I don't know, it's just weird. I don't anime, I don't know. But I also notice her hair right here looks like a flower. That's cute. That's adorable. Also, like I was saying, the blue and the red don't really go together. Does it? I'm not a girl. I need a girl's opinion. Somebody help me. If you're a girl, help me out. Is that good? Is that good? No? Yes? I mean, it's a nice blue. But the the hot pinkish red, whatever. Oh, yeah, I'll shut up. Melania. Here to suggest something? Come on, let's dance. Oh, God. It's way too early. In this season, there isn't even any music yet. Blah, you're so boring. Oh, you just should have danced with her or whatever. Yeah, I'm not the merriest the person for such an event. She ran away. So, Alanya did so wear something like an evening dress. Pretty funny. Uh, I know she's a child. Whoa. Hey there. I'm supposed to be hearing, uh... Oh, you're supposed to be kind of hearing that, but you can't really hear it. Okay, let's just do that. So I was turning that up. Uh, I know this, this is a bad recording. <laughs> uh, hi. Slavia. Thank you for telling me. Why is everybody wearing blue? Is it like custom? Hey. She sat, she sat down by my side. Uh, how's the evening? It's fine. Why are you so sad? I'm not. Okay, well, dancing will surely cheer you up. It, maybe. Don't forget the same one dance for me. She laughed and ran towards the music equipment. Oh, she can be a DJ? 
the situation was getting serious. I wouldn't be able to sit through the whole dance party. You you need to dance with her. I don't I don't care. You you need to dance with her. Her her. I'm gonna admit it. You two are perfect for each other. Well, in my understanding, cause well not understanding, but cause cause she likes books. I, I'm gonna go like this. She likes books. I like books. She's shy. I don't know why, I kind of find that cute and adorable, I, I, I'm just, you need her, her, all her. Hi. <laughs> Lena, come closer. Oh, hi, you're near too. What's with the flowers? What's with the blue? Everything's wearing, everybody's wearing blue. Okay. Is that such a wonder? Yes. Okay. Uh, gonna light up, gonna light this party up? The joke fell flat. Oh God! What did you, what did you say? Lena blushed and looked down. Well, maybe that's not the best idea. At setting things on fire. Okay, then I guess I'll. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, you're so bad at this. But uh, but I can understand. I've been in a situation like this before where. You know, as a girl, you kind of do say some stupid shit. I understand. She left. <laughs> ah, I forget a choice. Looks like the whole camp was at the square. The pioneers formed large groups, talked, joked around, and laughed. And the D Day panel, Lanya argued loudly with Olga D about a playlist for the evening. Oh, wow, that is loud. Oh, 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 my god. I just wanted some ambient noise, but no. That, that, that's good right there. This is some weird music. How do you dance to this? By the way, that looks beautiful. And there it is. The music started to play. I didn't know the band or the song, but if you ask me, I felt like... I felt that I tag into Soviet pop classics. The pioneers just stood there for some time, if not, as if not hearing the music. It's always hard to take the first step, especially when you're pretty sure that you'll be the only one who would just take it. Yep. Well, then I seemed not to grasp the simple truth. She reached out a central square with a few bounds and cried out loud. What are you standing around for? Started to gag wiggle ridiculously. Wiggle isn't exactly the word. Um, you couldn't find a better one. It looks so silly and funny that I couldn't help. I couldn't resist laughing. She noticed it. Oh, God. Hey, Semyon. I pretended I couldn't hear. She's like standing right in front of you. You'd be like, oh, oh, the music. Send me a dick. Stop pretending. Come over here. Yeah, no, dance with her. Don't be a dick. I kept ignoring her. Pioneers slowly realized that they weren't too sexy for this party and started to dance. Oh. Oh, okay. I get it. Yeah. You know, sexy just posted up at the club, just sitting there like, yeah, I don't need a dance. You're like, no, dance. <laughs> I get what you mean. It looked really silly from my point of view. Shaking one's arms and lights the beat of long forgotten hits. Come on, get real. Who says get real? Oh my god. I mean, this is more slow dance kind of music, you know, just like simple little, maybe a few twirls here and there, but like, eh, you know, like slowish. Of course, they couldn't dance at all, but this thing couldn't be called a dance either. Hey, Semyon, what are you sitting there for? Don't you want to dance? I was deep in thought that I didn't have no Slav... Yeah. Not really. Are you sure? She smiled. Maybe later. Damn, what am I even doing here? Just dance with her. They want to dance with you. Just dance with her. I Like, I know it's shocking. But come on. Dance, motherfucker. <laughs> No more invitation to dancing, but it completely ruined my pride. Oh, God. I started to think about an appropriate excuse to leave when I was looking for something to do. But then I saw Lena. She was slowly heading my way. You fucking dance with her. Oh, yeah, that's right. We gotta help her. Maybe we should go. Where to? I was so immersed in my thoughts, I didn't really get what she meant. You gotta help her, dumbass, to the infirmary. See, okay, I remember. It was during the dance. But if you want to stay here and dance, I doubt she was gonna dance. And it's set aside the whole evening. And no, I'll pass. Let's go. 
At least I wanted to stand here and shy like like a shy nerd. Oh, shut up, you are a shy nerd. Seriously, trying to conceal myself in the corner wasn't very pleasant. A bull in the china shop would be more agile than me on the dance floor. I didn't have the slightest intention of dancing in the first place. Well, shall we go to the infirmary? Then it brought me out of my thoughts. We just been standing there near the canteen for some time. Yeah, sure, uh, thank you. For what? Uh, what for? Yes, yeah, you. <laughs> she looked at me surprised. Well, for getting me out of there. I shouldn't have told her that dancing is not my thing. Excuse me. Alright, okay, sorry about that. My nose is kind of plugged up for a moment. Okay. It's, um, you know, so boring there. Seems to me you don't like dancing. See, she gets you. She gets you. Look at her eyes. They, they're like, they're piercing. Even though she, her, her, air, her air and her eyes kind of like clash like Barney colors. And this music is, not the music's fine. Damn it, I didn't read what that said. Seems you know like that there was a lot of there was no not a trace of sarcasm in her truthful, even childlike face. She seems seems like she really doesn't understand. Yeah, um, I don't like it at all. I'm not into it. <sighs> me too. No one ever invites me to dance. Oh, see, that's when you go. You know what? Fuck it. Skip it. You you know what you do? Get in trouble. Take the fall for her. Say so it was your fault, take it to her dance. Dance with her. Do it. Do it. No one ever invites me to a dance. Elena blush and stared at the ground as usual. Strange. What's strange? I can tell you now what he's gonna say. He's gonna remark on the fact saying she's like cute or some shit, or she looks nice, or how nice she is, that I'm she's sure that a lot of men would have been dying to ask her to dance and then she's gonna blush and be like, Oh, uh um, 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 thank you. Well, that no one ever invites you. You'd think so? Again, she looked at me with this expression of surprise and lack of understanding. See, he, he, he kind of got what I meant. I got confused and couldn't find what to say in return right away. Yeah, certainly. If I like dancing, I would invite you for sure. Uh, thanks, see? Ma! Oh, that looks fucking creepy. We didn't say a word the rest of the way. Then I obviously felt confused by my awkward compliment, and I just didn't know what the topic to choose for a conversation. It was completely dark by that time, and the gloomy building of the infirmary, uh, oh, sorry, I had a hiccup, covered in the night mist looked strangely like a haunted house. I felt a strong desire to turn and around and walk away without making any noise. I threw a quick glance at Lena and noticed she looked like usual shy, modest, uncertain and not in any way scared. I don't I don't get like this face, she doesn't look shy. She just looks like she's just glaring at you. I don't know, I kinda usually have that look on my face. Like if you know me like if you if you've seen me People say that I look like I'm fucking mad all the time, but it's I'm that's just how my face sets or how I naturally set it. <sighs> it just made me even more uncomfortable. It can't be that she's not scared while I suddenly an outed owl hooted nearby and I shivered. Oh you bitch. Well, how many okay, I've been recording for thirteen minutes. And it seemed either not to hear it. Uh, not pay attention to it or just not scared it by all at all. I could hardly believe the third option, but I didn't want to ask her about it, giving away my own fear. Cause she's fuck. She has balls. Stop being a bitch. I entered the infirmary and found a switch in the dark. Hey, that's my name. Ah. Oh, shut up. I'm sorry. I like this music. Will the nurse come later? She, she won't come. Oh no, I can see bad things happening. It's gonna get in that weird art style. Somehow they're gonna fall on the bed. She's gonna get nervous and be like, oh, let's, let's play doctor. <laughs> God. Okay. She won't come. Understood. Wait a second. What do you mean she won't come? Uh, I, I see. 
So that I'm afraid to be alone with Lena indoors that night with no one around. Only in movies does something like this happen under such, such circumstances. Maybe just don't be weird. Be chivalrous. Be like the Knights of the Round Table and don't force yourself on a woman. I'm pretty sure you won't do that. But come on, you need know, to just be nice. Is it me? Is it just that I'm with Lena and not with Ulanya or Slavia? It's just that I'm. Oh, yeah. See? Uh, taking a liking with her. And it seriously changed my attitude towards things happening. There are the boxes. She pointed at the messy stack of boxes. <clears throat> oh, shit. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Damn it. Okay, I'm still giving over the cough. I'm sorry. Mm. There are about a dozen box, dozen of them. I would take much more than ten minutes of work. I put one of the boxes on the table for me and started to take out its contents. There are bandages. Uh, lots of packs of bandages. Here. Uh, oh, no, this is her. Sorry about that. Here, uh, take this. Then it gave me a piece of paper. There were some fields, and I quickly realized that I should put the name in the left, the description in the middle, if there is one, and the quantity in the right hand. Or right field, excuse me. It's not a database, but it'll do. The work started in full swing. Semyon? Uh, yeah, no, don't say what. I used to say what when I was younger to my mother. I pissed off my grandma. I don't know why. I, every, every time I have someone, like, kind of does that, just like, I mean, I don't know, it just seems kind of rude. Just say, yeah, like, yes, hello, what would you like, you know, like, what, and like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know I'm kind of running off on, uh, on these videos, okay. Semyon, yes, that's what I'm going to say. And you might have noticed that I kind of added words and take out words sometimes, it's just kind of easier for me to read, in my own opinion, my bad. If you don't like that, then I'm sorry. I looked at Lena. She said to me for a couple of minutes, moments, seeming, oh fucking god, my voice, <laughs> sorry, seemingly making up her mind to do or to say something, but then lowered her gaze again. Uh, no, never mind. It was the physicality, oh, oh fuck, it was the phys physically hard for me to just sit eh, without saying a word. However, I did not dare to speak first. Not only because I couldn't think of a good topic for a conversation, but I was just feeling shy. This girl could easily be embarrassed by anything. Samyon? Yes, there you go. You're counting them all over again. Indeed, I had started to take out, a, take out and put in the database, you fucking nerd, the bandages I already counted. Oh, uh, sorry. She didn't answer. Hey, um, where are you from? I mean, where did you come from? Meaning, where were you born? I mean, wh where do you live? <laughs> yeah. Well, I, uh... There's a town not far from here. Not far from here. Uh, where's that? It's somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, sassy. Looks like she doesn't want to talk about it. Is that hiding some too? No, she just didn't want to fucking tell you. I mean, it's not everybody doesn't want to fucking tell you things. I mean, fuck. I don't want people to know my age. Yet, at least. By the way, if you don't know, soon I'm going to tell you my age. Soon. I don't mean soon, I mean soon. Not really. Maybe. Depending on how... I, I'm going to shut the fuck up. This is Lena hiding something, too. It is explicable in the case of Olga D, but in Lena's case... In Lena's case... It's absolutely not like her. Is it a secret? No. Just... So is it somewhere in the south, too? Ah, I should have thought of something more original. Every single one of my sudden ideas turned out wrong way, and this attempt to play spy worked out even worse. Oh, yeah. It's got a buddy. And I thought about south, because the only pioneer camp in the Soviet Union I remembered was Artek. Yes. Then I hesitated to reply. Hmm. I couldn't quite tell if she was lying or not. Don't you like it here? Oh, I wonder what part of, of what I said made her think so. 
Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I like it here. My false friendliness sounded very sincere, grating on the ears. What about you? I like it. It's so calm here. There are a lot of books in the library. See? Books? I love books. I bet you like books. No, no, you like computers. Ugh. Ugh. Dude, ask her what kind of books. And people are nice. Oh. Eh. I guess. Nice, but not all of them. Why? Did I really say that last bit out loud? Turns out I did. Well, you know. Lanya, for example. She's like that. Like an energizer battery with a completely unbalanced point of power application. Battery? What? Maybe I was really sent back in time. Yeah, battery. Well. Well, well no. Be, when more battery is made? This can't be that far off. I mean, fuck, there's a lamp. It looks all kind of... Mu Look, they have fluorescent lighting. Oh, hold on. The Energizer battery was founded on eight, in 1896. They didn't even have fluorescent lighting like that back then. Or Alyssa's saying a pioneer is the kid's role model. Certainly doesn't describe her. If everyone started following her example, would... It would be completely. It would be a complete disaster for the country in 20 years or so. However, thinking about it now, you can draw the conclusion that everybody did follow the example of Alyssa, whatever the fuck that name is, in the 80s, where I'm probably now. The, the battery was made in 1996. You have fluorescent lighting. Okay, yeah, 80s probably, but still. Wait a minute. If this is the Soviet Union in the 80s, god damn it, Dinkelberg, then if we're in the Soviet Union, oh, I gotta do more research. Oh god, wow. I do not remember that from history. Damn. Um, the Soviet Union was. The Soviet Union fell on December 25th, 1991. I don't, I don't, I don't remember that. I knew they fell kind of in the last century, late in the last century. Like, holy fuck! Oh, okay. Well, she's not like that, actually. Not like that. Not like what? She, she's, she's nervous. I, cause she's, she's, I, the, the red-haired chick, I guess. Fuck, I forgot her name. Alyssa, I think it is. She's... She she has a hard outside and inside of it. She has like a softy. She's like... A frozen snicker bar that you somehow were able to heat the inside. I don't know. Not like what you said about her. To begin with, I didn't say anything. I just say to the fact that she's not the best example to follow. Well, maybe... Look, she's smiling. Sounds like you know her well enough. Probably. I asked that question. I asked that question only to keep the conversation going and didn't expect an answer like that. Alyssa and Elena were so indifferent. Not indifferent, excuse me, different. The idea that they could be close was unbelievable for me. We came from the same town. As if she had foreseen my question. We have common friends, even though Alyssa is one year older. Okay, that's a little bit strange. How's that strange? Oh, not like that. I'm, I'm just surprised. Everyone gets surprised. Lena smiled a bit. I know, and it's adorable. I took the second box. An old genum. Uh, fuck. How do you say that without anel? Ginum. Ginium. Ginium. No. Anal gum. Activate, activated charcoal. Anal gum. <laughs> activated charcoal. Saline solution. Potassium. Permagand. Oh, fuck, I can't read. Permanent. I'm bad at reading today. Furetcillin and anal gum again. <laughs> I know it's not anal gum. Then I always spoke in simple sentences. How can I communicate with her if every conversation turned into a monologue or just 
awkward silences. I wasn't quite satisfied with such a state of things. I can understand that when the conversation is just kind of slow and you kind of feel like you got to fill the conversation. I mean, my hobby is to talk a lot. <laughs> so yeah, I can understand that. Sometimes it looks like she's hiding something behind her mask of shyness, but what? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you know, I read a book not that long ago. Oh, really? <laughs> a book? Do you like science fiction? Not much. Eh, science fiction, it's, it's, a, it's a hit and miss. Damn. Another failure. Well, if you don't like it, then what books do you like? Different kinds. Conversation wasn't going smoothly, and I, and I had to turn it off for the better. Who knows why? But I thought about the dance again. Feelings of an of uneasiness, discomfort, and even shame overwhelmed me once more. Looks like I'm not that different from Lena when it comes to such things. I am shy and afraid of things, and I don't understand or can't do. I should probably overcome my own fears before anything else. And this will me understand her better. I've made up my mind. There are only a couple boxes left. Yes. Hey, I've got an idea. How about we go to the canteen afterwards? I think the tape recording was taken back there. What is it doing in the canteen? I hesitated. What for? Her sincere look made it clear that she hadn't the slightest idea what I was going to offer. Well, frankly speaking, I just don't know how to dance. That's why I don't like it. The reason I was so confused back there. Maybe I could thank you by dancing with you. But I... She stopped sorting out the medicine for a moment, blushed, and looked right into my eyes. I got a bit stubborn. Oh, chivalry. It was a really stupid idea. It's okay if you don't want to. I, I, I don't insist. What if someone sees us? I certainly didn't think about that. It's not a big deal, but... Everybody's asleep already. And no one is going to go to the canteen at night. How will we get in there? I should have thought about it for, beforehand. Well, I didn't have Slavia's key. I did have Slavia's keys, but I didn't want to mention them. Someone would get the wrong idea about me stealing them. Oh yeah, that's right, I have Slavia's keys from like way back when. Because I haven't done this in two and a half months. <sighs> that moment I regretted that I still didn't get my cell phone from the leader's cabin. Anyway, I had to say, I had to say something to get away from this awkward topic. Um, what kind of music do you like? Different kinds? I'm not really into it. Eh, I like music. Well, then let's imagine that it's playing now. Oh, that's so awkward. I mean, that you, that we hear it playing. You know, how's that? Like it's playing in your head. I still remember the moment the pioneers were dancing to. The music and the words were really clear in my memory. I'm not sure I can do that. You can just try. Sing to her. Oh my god, sing to her. Oh my god, it's gonna be so adorable. Come on, sing to her, sing to her. Probably. I've got her consent. I don't know why I stumbled on that, my bad. In Lena's case, even that probably can be considered a yes. We suddenly sorted medical supplies for the rest of the time, writing down their names in quantities. Quantities? Quantities. Not quantities. Quantities. <laughs> I should pay more attention to every word I say after such luck. Oh yeah. I stay silent for most of the time, though. Soon we finished the last box. I gave Lena the filled list in... I filled in the list and started to stare at her like I saw Bigfoot riding a unicycle while juggling piglets. So, like, confused as fuck. Why would you stare at her like that? It was amazing, frightening, and above all, mesmerizing. Oh. Oh my god. She suddenly broke out laughing. What? That look of yours. What about it? It's just funny. See, you're making her laugh. Uh. I asked a man 
he was married. One of my teachers, actually. He was married for, fuck, how long was he married? He was a, it was a long time when I asked him. This was, I asked him years back. He, he was married for a long, long fucking time. And he said, the key to keeping your wife happy is to make her laugh a lot. You need to be funny, even if you fucking stupid. It doesn't matter if everybody hates your jokes. If you can make her laugh a lot, then you're, you're good. <laughs> it's just funny. Really? Yes, so where are we going to go? Where? Her last words unsettled me. I completely forgot what we were talking about. Dancing, motherfucker. What, how do you freaking... <sighs> Frankly speaking, I completely left this world for a moment. Well, you know, to dance? Yeah, no. When I blushed right away and her face took a strange expression of shyness, uneasiness, and fear. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, I, I was just lost in thought. Let's go to the pier. I don't know why I chose that place. Because it's beautiful and romantic, and the moonlight coming down on you guys just makes... Uh... <laughs> Maybe because you could just run into a pioneer. You could just run into a pioneer at the square in the residential area, or near the canteen, but on the pier. That's what I thought, at least. Or maybe because of the large, bright moon reflecting on the water in the night. <laughs> it's a full moon today. Ooh. I don't know how, but the solution just offered itself. If you don't like it, then... Oh, sorry. That... <laughs> if you don't like it, then we can go somewhere else. And then... No, that's a really nice place. Uh, usually when I say, if you don't like it, it's, it's more rude. I don't know why. Then I locked the door and we made our way to the pier. Night fell on the sleeping camp. Should we follow the road? Well, it'll be faster through the forest. There's a nice path there. No, no, I mean, it's a fucking forest. There's animals in the forest. Take the road. It's dark there. Are you afraid? Not really. Well, if you want to. Okay. But, can I... Uh... Why, why with the boob? I mean, I know she's got some big boobs, but come on. She finished. She, without finishing, she grabbed one of my... See, she wants to... It's loving you. <laughs> uh, is it okay with you? No, it was my turn to blush. Uh, d d d of course. We <laughs> walked to the forest. Dude, I would be smiling ear to ear if I was you. It was hardly a forest, though. More like a small grove between the camp and the pier. About a hundred meters long. I don't remember to think that there would be anything to be afraid of, even on my own. But it just seemed like Lena's fear was contagious. The branches swayed over us. I sh shuddered as and Lena clung to my arm even more strongly. Don't be afraid, it must be a squirrel. But, yeah. I don't think she's afraid. I think she just really likes holding your arm. <gasps> Slavia is gonna see us. <sighs> we reached the pier. The night was really beautiful. I walked closer to the river and called Lena. Look, the pier in the boat. The pier of the boathouse and the moon were reflecting in the water. It was like another world of the surface of the water being the door to Wonderland. You could just jump and find yourself on the other side. Oh, this is the most fucking cheesy thing you could have ever said. May I have this dance? <laughs> oh, oh my god. Um, I started dying. Okay, I sent my hand to her and bowed clumsily. Then I hesitated. <clears throat> oh, excuse, excuse me. I'm sorry about that. Mm. I must have overdid it with my mannerism. There's nothing to fear. I'm no good at it either. Why either? She never said she couldn't dance. Yeah, I'm afraid. Though it was kind of obvious. Okay. 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 See. Da da na na na. This is a beautiful moment. You, you know. I know I say I don't like Tumblr, but one thing I learned from Tumblr was the shipping thing. And I shipped this. I so ship it. <laughs> okay. Lena gave me her hand. 
I held her a bit aside and gently pushed my arms around her waist. We just stood like that for a few moments. And what next? Well, I don't know. Do you remember that song? <laughs> Barely. But I remember... Great, uh, let's waltz like in the movies. Ah, do you... Don't waltz. <laughs> How's that? Instead of answering her, I carefully started to move in a circle with Lena. See, now that... Now that hard at all? Oh, not that hard at all. They said, no, sorry. I'm ruining a very beautiful moment. Okay. Yeah. We waltz for several minutes. Or whatever you would call it. I felt her warmth, though we were not that close to each other. Her chest heaved heavily and her face started to blush more and more. Lena didn't look at me, averting her eyes from one side to another. I suddenly realized that I had never felt anything like this before. It was tenderness that were taking reality, as I found myself in another, better world. I realized that I didn't want to let this girl go, and that I wouldn't give up anything just to go on waltzing to, with her forever. I clasped Lena tighter, and only then she looked straight at me. There was surprise and confusion in her gaze, but no fear whatsoever. She wasn't even afraid of me, and didn't push me away. And he said he can't dance. I really can. I was confused. I didn't expect a reaction from her like that. Where has her confusion, shyness, and fear disappeared to? You two now dance pretty well. It's because she, it's, the reason why she's like this is because it's easy for her to be around you. I, I, I know. A playful smile across her, oh, she knew how to dance all the time, I bet. Or maybe it just seemed so to me. No, I swear I saw it. How is that possible? The image of the shy and modest lad didn't fit together with this moment at all. What should I say? What should I do next? I could only keep I could only keep on waltzing with her in this dance, which is getting stranger with every passing minute. Oh fuck. Simeon No sorry, not Simeon. Simeon! Simeon, where are you? The voice came from the edge of the forest. Oh, damn worst timing ever. Simeon It was Olga D. She must have been worrying because I been I've been I haven't I should have been back a long time ago. I should have guessed that the tireless camp leader would start searching for a lost pioneer. I should have warned her beforehand. Oh, there's no point in thinking about it now. Lena looked at me questioningly. Being seen together would not be the best thing. Oh, she said that. Why? Let's go tell her everything else all right. No, let's hide then return to the camp later. Her idea was just, she just wants to be with you. Just wants to fucking be with you. Fucking go with her. Go with her. Everything was going so well. At least something was starting to work out. Or seem like it did. But what was that something? Okay then. I decided not to argue. It wasn't appropriate in such a situation. Olga D shouted for a while and left. L let's go. Yeah. Then I didn't grab my arm on the way back. Oh. I was a little bit frustrated, but wasn't certain enough to take a first step. We kept silent again. It was not typical of Leonard to start a conversation, and I just didn't know what to say after everything that had happened at the pier. Tell her it was a nice time. Not yet, I, I think. I don't know. Just say you had fun. I don't know. Tell her great. I don't know. She kept looking at the ground on the way back, keeping her usual expression. <sighs> what a bizarre change. Or to be more precise, what a bizarre what was bizarre was that smile on the pier and Lena's words. <sighs> she stopped at the square. Well, um, I have to go. Okay. Thank you for today. Yeah. Then I turned around and healed to her cabin and I started walking and I kept standing where I was.
the hell was that? That dance, that sudden change of the mood, and everything was back to normal. <sighs> they totally fucking shook them. 